Hello guys, my name is Michał Bitski from Data Maniacs and actually quite recently I've came through a very interesting post from guys from BI Elite where they showed how to utilize what if parameters to create a single value slicer. They made the presentation with a very cool emoji style report which you can see in this video but actually the most common comment below that was if there is a way to save that feedback from your users. And I was thinking about that. If there is any chance we can use the output value from the slicer to pass it to any way of forms. And whereas I couldn't find such a feature in Microsoft Forms, I could do that with Google Forms. So in this video, I will show you how to gather a report feedback using Google Forms and what if parameters. All right, so let's jump to my Google Forms. And actually previously, I have created very short form with three questions with scale from zero to 10 and some feedback comment field. So the question is how we can pass values from Power BI to Google Form. Let's check it out. In Google Forms, there is an option to get pre-filled link. Let's click on that. And I will give various answers to each of the questions. I got one, two, three, and I will press get link. And I copy that. It's in my clipboard, so I paste it to Notepad. And clearly we can see that each of the questions, they got their IDs given as entry and then you got the value. So let's try to change that to, let's say five. The next one to six and next one to seven. And let's check it out if it works. I will copy, paste that to my browser and bam, here we go. Here we got the answers that we collected. So clearly we can use that URL link to pass it from Power BI straight away to Google Forms. Let's do that. All right, so we are in a repo that I created for some training session that I conducted. And I prepared the page where we got all those free questions. So firstly, what we need to do is create what if parameters in the same way that the guys from BILA did in their report. So we go to modeling, we select new parameter and let's rename that to answer one. We want whole number from zero to 10, let the default be 10 and we want to add slicer to the page. Let's press our okay. And here it is, so I pasted a bit of slightly below our question and let's create another one. So I create new parameter, I'll call it answer two, again from zero to 10, default 10, and I put it under the second one and I repeat exactly the same steps for the third. All right, so currently we got three slicers that show a single value. That's awesome. Right now, let's create some measure that will indicate us what's the selected value. I will create a new measure in each of the answers. So the first one will be answer, answer one stars because I want to show, because I want to indicate this result with star. So I'll use rept function that will repeat the character that, that I will provide and here I'll and here I'll provide a string with emoji of star so I press windows dot and there is a star I press it let's go back to the formula close the string and our number of times will be actually the measure that was created together with uh, our parameter so answer one value Let's use that, answer one value, close the brackets and press enter. 
And let's try to use that within our report. I will scale this slicer a bit so we don't have header. And I will paste here a KPI field and drag here stars. All right, we got three stars, but if I select more, we cannot see them all. So we need to resize them a bit using the formatting. So I go to turn off the category label and data label. I, let's change size, maybe 24 will be enough. Not really, 18. 18 seems fine. Let's check out how it looks on the maximum value. Ah, it's, we are almost here. So 16 should work fine. Yep, 16 works fine. So, so right now I'll create again the same steps for the remaining buckets. So I copy this, stars, go to answer two, create a new one, new measure. Paste it here, change one into two. Alrighty, so now it's enough to copy those KPI fields. The only thing I need to do is drag star two instead of star one. Copy, paste, and here is star three. And now if you select the slicer, change the value, the number of stars will change, so the first task is done. Actually, it's good, it would be good to group those items, so if you select slicer online, it wouldn't go to the front. Let's do it here as well, group, group, and same story here, group, group. Okay, so I guess you remember this URL that we copied. So let's make a measure out of that. This is the URL that I copied from Google Forms. I will create a new measure, call it action URL. And our string will be the thing that I copied, but we need to modify this, that slightly. So there is our first entry. I'll delete that five, leave some empty space, join those two strings, and between, I need to use answer one value. I'll copy that bit. Break string here. But this time with answer two value and the same story here we break the string here at end at this position and we join it with the answer three value okay I press enter let's commit that and let's modify our button so we add action to web URL and as web URL, we use our new measure, the action URL. It's based on field, it's in, in my model, it's in answer one table, action URL, press OK. And let's check out if it works. I will just modify the values. And now if I control click on submit, we, we got our form with previewed values, so our users can just submit the answer of the, or if they want, they can provide comment and the answer is recorded. So this is amazing feature that allows you to gather feedback from your end users and record it straight away with Google Forms without using power apps or 
other advanced features. I hope you enjoyed that movie guys, if you liked it please press a like button or subscribe, there will be more videos on the way. Thank you guys and see you in the next videos.